Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate all of you very much. I'm excited that it's Friday, and I get to share some wax melt love with you all. It's kind of gloomy here in California right now. Teddy and I went on our walk already, and I get to watch my granddaughter today and her little dog and do some work. So I'm looking forward to the weekend, and I wanted to share with you a vendor that I have been buying from for a couple years now and uh, I'd like to put her a little more on the map. She's not a real real well-known vendor but she's lovely. Her name is Kimberly and she's in Florida and her wax is called Athame and Alchemy and I'll put the link in the description. She makes wonderful rice soaps and scrubs and she's very environmentally friendly um, I just love her aesthetic. I love the way she describes some of her wax melts. And I have a new haul from her that I wanted to share with you, with along with a couple old favorites that I wanted to describe to you. So here we go. Okay, and I haven't I've I've undone the package, but I did not um, smell any of these yet. Um, well, I smelled one, but I didn't really like totally smell it. So I wanted to share it with you. So this is her um the way her labels look, athameandalchemy.com. This is Pink Dragon. Her wax is on the hard side, so it performs best for me in tea lights, a, a little crock, or a hot plate. Um, so I'm just giving a heads up about that, uh, what, what how it performs best for me. So Pink Dragon is a warm base of dragon's blood, cedar, and clove with sweet, zesty lemon, tangerine, and watermelon notes dancing on top. So, this smells very, very good. The particular way I bought this wax is it comes in bars like this. This smells so good, you definitely get the watermelon and the citrus note. Very fresh and beautiful. She has like a little design in her snap bar there. Now, I do rebag this wax. Uh, this is a tad unusual, but that's okay. Her wax comes in a wa wax paper bag, okay? I, I rebag all the wax I get from her so it will last longer. Again, she is all about protecting the environment, which I completely respect. I find I have to have my polyurethane bags, and I do rebag her wax, and it, it, the, the longevity of it is great when I do that. Okay, the next one is Jammy Dodger. So Jammy Dodger is sweet, sticky raspberry jam baked between buttery biscuits of vanilla shortbread. And that one. Oh, that smells good. I smells like a raspberry bakery in the bag. Look how pretty that is. It's different. Very beautiful. Smells very good. I do get all those notes, the raspberry and the shortbread bakery. Next, we have blueberry sage bun. Buns. Blueberry sage buns is baked bread, melted butter, sweet oats, blueberries, brown sugar, Dalmatian sage. Oh, that's interesting. And fresh thyme. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, my gosh. This is a good, good blueberry. Kimberly, you nailed this. Oh, that smells so good. Look how pretty. That smells really good. I find that her wax performs r fine right out the gate. Um, I do have a lot of it, uh, so I do cure some of it, but it do I find it performs well in the right warmer right away. Um, oh, that's a good one. I'm excited about that. This one is called Housekeeping, and this is fresh lemon juice, eucalyptus, and garden mint. So this is probably like a odor odor clearing one. That smells so good. That's so fresh and lovely, not perfumey at all. Housekeeping. Fresh lemon juice, eucalyptus, and mint. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that, different colors on there. I really like that. Okay. Next one we have is Whimsy Goth, and this is dark musk, incense, amber, cedar, bamboo, and fruit loops. What an interesting blend. I had to get it because of that Fruit Loops edition in there. Oh, that smells so, so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. 
That smells really, really good. You do get the Fruit Loops, but you also get the, the other tones of amber and a, a, tad, a tad of bamboo in there. And the last one from this haul I got is Miss Anthrope. And that is Woody Haitian Vetiver. I think that's Haitian. Woody Haitian Vetiver, Ruby Red Pomegranate Juice, Spring Greenery, and Tangerine Blossoms. That's super pretty. Very delicate, but a good strong smell. But it's very delicate with the way it's blended. I really like that. I like the tangerine blossom. How pretty is that? So that's my little haul from her. I have a couple other favorites I just wanted to share with you. Um, this, I've gotten a couple of these over the last couple years and in the fall. This is um, how she does her pumpkin spice latte. It comes in a little latte cup. They come, there's all little cute little pieces. This, I can still smell it. I, normally I would have rebagged this, but it smells just fine. And this is from last fall. This is um, house mix of freshly brewed coffee and pumpkin spice. Yeah, pumpkin spice latte, but I love that little aesthetic there. Those are her, isn't that a pretty label? I just love her brand. So beautiful. And a couple other favorites I have gotten from her. Um, so she has given me soap samples before. So this is an artisan soap, a cold process artisan soap. And this is Modern Love. Um, the, 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 well, the ingredients, olive oil, coconut oil, cocoon butter, shea butter, castor oil, but this is so beautiful. Her soaps, oh my God, her soaps are really, really lovely. This is a soap sample she sent me of called Water Sprites Protest. I love, and I love her names. Cold, clean spring water, limestone, decaying leaves and lichens. This is beautiful. Her soaps are great everyone. And then this one is a, a sample of a wax melt that I do like because I've bought this from her before. This is Midnight in the Garden. And this is Messy Cypress Gardenias Jasmine Wisps of Incense, Traces of Saffron and Amber, Graveyard Dirt, Dirt, and a Dark Presence. This is beautiful. I'm telling you gals, you dirt, you dirty girls out there, you dirt girls. Just being silly. This is so, so right up your alley if you like the dirt blends. Midnight in the Garden. It's, you get that biting, wonderful, moist dirt smell. And um, so I just, I have a couple other favorites that I don't have any more of right now, but I wanted to share with you. Um, this is a favorite of mine called Bibliosima. No, Biblios, Bibliosmia, something like that. That's old books, worn leather covers, printed pages, antique desks, and a fresh pencil shaving. That I've had before. That smells really good if you like old books blends. Juicy Peaches is another. Oh, no. This is Peaches and Herb, which is Juicy Peaches. Vanilla sugar, freshly cut herbs are grooving loose and heart to heart with light traces of eucalyptus and orange blossoms. This is super fresh, sweet, juicy, and summer-esque to the max. Dude. <laughs> so, she didn't put dude there. That's a good one. I've had that before. Another favorite that I'm out of right now is called Baksana, Bacasana, which is Palo Santo, lemon blossom, cashmere, butter, toffee, buttercream, fluffy vanilla cake, and cedar wood. That is a good one. And another favorite that's very unusual sounding, but it goes so well together, is called Jaffa Cake, which is vanilla cake with a dollop of orange marmalade and light milk chocolate frosting. So kind of a cupcakes at Tiffany's type thought but it smells really good different than cupcakes to me but very good um georgette's tea room is another favorite strong black tea with lemon crunchy almond biscuits and dainty frosted tea cakes C pike's place morning coffee amongst the evergreens with marine mist in the air and then this is another favorite is cottage hearth warm baked goodness from a cozy kitchen fresh quick bread cobbler's pies with simmering what is this simmering what simmering fruit jams and chutneys now these the jaffa the georgette the cottage hearth pike's place and there's a dojo donut one creamy coffee and fresh strawberry thyme fritters hello that's a sample bag that she has where you can get all of those um there's five of them in a sample sampler and it's a generous sampler and another favorite that i'm out of right now and i need to order more which i think she has stocked it again as of last friday is 
Dulce de Miami. This is a huge favorite. I don't know of another vendor that does anything quite like this. This is cinnamon, sugar, butter, coconut flakes, crunchy pistachios, and fluffy vanilla cake. It's not a cherry pistachio. It smells like a very rich dulce, 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 like that caramel that you can buy in the can and the Latino markets, that wonderful, very rich caramel, kind of with a little sweetened condensed milk flair to it. It's really, really good. I have not found this from anybody else like this. So that's it. I wanted to share all that with you. I've wanted to do a video for Kimberly's brand for a long time now. Um, again, I love her. She's She's got about a two-week turnaround time. And please check out her website. Just It's just a, oh my gosh, it's just an experience looking through her website and looking at how she names her blends. There's another one, something about over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house we go, and another one called Teddy Bear's Picnic. And she has the lyrics to the, the little, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> she has the lyrics to the teddy bear picnic in the description. What's wrong with me today? Sorry. Um, I love her. And uh, she's wonderful. Check her out if you can. Um, and uh, I guess that's it. So have a beautiful Friday. I know we have um, a couple other vendor um, pre-orders coming up today that I'm excited and gearing up for and I'm also going to jump on Kimberly's site today or tomorrow and grab some more favorites so I'll, again I'll put her link down below athame and alchemy.com and I love all of you thank you so so much have a beautiful day bye hi I had to come back because I forgot about another blend of athame and alchemy that I had to quickly mention that I have um, I need more of and um, just wanted to share with you because it was one of my favorite n named blends that she made. So this one is called Emotional Larceny. And it is woodsy vetiver, bright bergamot, lemon peel, warm amber resin, ripe black plums, cherry juice, sandalwood, and cracked black peppercorn. It, it, I recall it smelling really, really good. She describes it as, what does emotional larceny have to do with this delicious summer scent? Well, I can say that you were promised a fresh summer fruity scent, and then I snuck a bunch of dark scents in there. But truthfully, I've been wanting to use this name forever. It's a phrase from the movie Singles, which was took place in 1992. If any of you remember that grunge era, um, it's from that movie Singles. And it takes place in 1992 Seattle and has amazing cameos of Eddie Vedder and Chris Cornell along with their music. And it totally gives away my age and my age too. But I love that movie, so whatever. Um, that was a, a very um, important era for me. Um, also why I love that blend so much. Uh, during the grunge era, my husband worked for the band Bush. That was The lead singer was Gavin Rossdale. And um, it's just another little, a little anecdote that has nothing to do with her wax, but it's from that era, from the theme of the name. And um, I was very lucky. My son was born in 94, but we were really lucky to, I got to fly out and go on tour with the band and meet my husband and be on vacation in England. And uh, some very special memories when, when Bush came out, Everything Zen, for those of you who remember that, that album, 16 Stone, and Chris Cornell, and Eddie Vedder, huge, huge favorites, Pearl Jam. So um, this struck a note with this wonderful um, blend. So anyhow, I just wanted to add that and clip that onto the end of my video. Bye, everyone.